doing? Chris from Wild Call Acres. Uh, short video, hunting hack. Um, what to do if you need to put a scope cover on, you're stuck in the bush. How do you get the job done? Keep your gear looking good. Um, you never know. Take a look in your pack and see what you got. So in this case, my package here is a Nikon Buckmaster 2. I've got the Remington 783 and a 270 caliber uh, camo synthetic stock with a limb saver sling. I've got a Mossy Oak uh, gun sling um, backpack that I use uh, traditionally for scouting or most of the time in the bush. It is so completely waterproof. It's nice and soft. When I do have that gun uh, over my shoulder, uh, rubs up against the pack. There's never an issue. But in this case, we're out in the bush. We're scouting some moose. We're getting confident. The next day we decided, you know what? We're feeling really good. Let's bring out the, uh, um, the quartering uh, game backpacks. Uh, we just use, you know, some cost-effective solutions. They're usually just old uh, aluminum frame backpacks. They do a great job distributing the weight. Uh, in this case, I can carry about 110 to 115 pounds uh, on the back, and I can do that up and down hill, usually six, seven kilometers uh, before I'm really struggling. Um, so but what I've done is been on the trail about 200 yards into the bush, started hearing a clinging sound, this type of sound, you know, but more of a tinging sound. I realized right away what was happening is my scope, uh, being as large as it is, it is a four by 12, you know, on here, does have an anodized finish. And as a, as a result, you're gonna end up scuffing it up. And if you're like me, you wanna keep your gear in great condition. I really didn't want my scope uh, scratched up. So what I did is I, I'm always aware of the resources I have in my backpack that I pack all the time. I've always got a knife for obvious reasons. Uh, no hunter is gonna leave their house without a knife. Um, fresh pair of socks. Uh, in this case, these are just a you know fairly inexpensive Mossy Oak brand. I think I bought them in clearance at Cabela Merino Wool. It's probably four or five dollars somewhere around there. I never really paid full price for anything. Um, and then just a bunch of zip ties. Uh, for myself, zip ties can be handy uh, whenever you want to hold something together. Um, you know, and in you know from a primary perspective, I use zip ties for field dressing all day long. Uh, everything from birds to big game. Um, what I specifically use them for is when I'm doing my uh, entrail dressing and I pull the anus, I use a zip tie to tie it off, esophagus tied off. I find it just keeps everything super tight, super clean. Um, and what I did is I just, you know, took the sock, cut the toe off, cut the back off to the length, put one slit down, put it right over top of the scope. Where I had the slit, just put two zip ties in the center so it wouldn't slide left to right. Did my wrap around the exit reticle side, the entrance, uh, sorry, uh, entrance and exit, and uh, zip tied them together, uh, cut a small slit in for my turret covers, my elevation, my windage, uh, tied the zip ties. I still have access to my zoom dial, uh, which was beneficial. The bikini cover still fits over top. Um, yeah, and it worked. And for the rest of the week, the gun, the scope bumping up against the uh, backpack, I just wasn't concerned. I could focus on the hunt, focus on the bush, focus on the sign and what I was trying to do, just not get distracted uh, that I was ruining my gun or even with the sound as well. So not only did it make it quiet, but protected my gear. And that's really what I want to talk about. Um, so in this case, I mean, I'm not going to leave this like this. I'll probably get a, a scope slicker. I'll end up getting a neoprene cover um, and, you know, keep that in the pack just in the event I may need it. But this was just a nice, simple hack. Sure, I'm down one sock, um, but if your household's anything like mine, you always know you got a basket down in the, the laundry room. You've always got a couple socks in there that don't have a partner. So you never know, there will be that time where I'll match up the sock with, uh, with another partner from the laundry. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, hunting hack. Always be aware of what's in your pack. Always have a standard kit in your pack because uh, you'll never know the time that you may need to hack your hunt uh, and what you can create. If you do have a hunting hack, please post it in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.